Hello, happy Wednesday. Um, actually, hump day. It's hump day. <laughs> Not literally hump day, but the middle of the week. Yeah. Um, today was weird and crazy and random and I don't know, so I'm going to tell you about it because <laughs> I just feel like talking and my best friend isn't talking to me so I really don't have anyone to just be like my day blah 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 but um so I went to work it was cool I popped a deal it was fun and I always really enjoy work usually and after work I um, went to an audition and I ended up taking a right off the freeway instead of a left and I went down probably 20 minutes in the wrong direction so that was pretty fun to do in Los Angeles <laughs> not no um, so I had to turn around and for a second, I was like, screw this. I'm going home. I'm not going to go to it. Because I got myself the audition. Like, if it was, if my manager got it for me, then I take it more seriously. But if I get auditions myself, then I'll find little reasons to where it's, I justify it, basically. I'm like, well, I got myself this, so I don't really have to go. Um, and I was getting frustrated and I was like, I could seriously just turn turn around right now and go home. But I stuck it through. My eyeball itches. <laughs> Ew. I'm like literally scratching it. <laughs> Sorry. So <laughs> So I go to the audition and I I briefly look through the sides. Sides are the script, like chunks of dialogue between you and another person. Um, that's what a side is. So I go and they have sides for the character I'm reading. And I didn't really know anything about the storyline. I didn't know anything about the character. And I'm usually most like the talkative one out of the group. Like if I'm sitting in the waiting area and there's a few other people there, I have no problem whatsoever saying, so do you know her character breakdown, you know, what she's about and, you know, what the sto what happened with the story and and so this guy told me um they're in the woods and this girl's like she's a a drugged drugged up crack whore or something like that. So I go into the audition and I wanted to, you know, be certain that I'm playing this role like a drugged up crack whore. So <laughs> So I ask them, and they say, yeah, I mean, she does drugs, and she's been out into this, like, wilderness place, um, stuck in the forest for a couple, like, four hours, five hours, and my character is supposedly, like, she's getting kind of pissed off, she's coming down from her high, she has this cough where, like, she coughs up blood, she, she, like, kind of itches herself, and so I just did it, and it, it rocked, like, I felt so good and even they were like yeah that was a really good job um, do it one more time and make her a little more angry you know like she's getting really frustrated and she's not having her drugs and stuff like that so so I did it and I just felt really good about it there are some projects where I go in there and I leave and I'm like I got that I for sure got that and that's how I feel about this if I don't get it I mean, there definitely can be someone better than me, um, and I'm sure there is, but I I feel like this is me, not not a drugged up crack whore, but I th I think I can really do well at this part, and it would be fun too because I've never really gone out there, and I think it would be kind of a challenge for me, and I'm excited. Hopefully, I get a call a call back, and I book it. It's a, a short film. It's like 105 pages or something, which is very decent. It's not a feature film length, but it, you know, definitely Sundance material. Um, so that was that. And I'm leaving my audition. And earlier today, I'm from work going to my audition. I call my mom up and I'm venting to her um, about my best friend and she's not talking to me and stuff like that. And then I was like, my my car feels really shaky, you know, I want to sell it. Which, by the way, 
I live in Hollywood. I'm trying to sell a Z28 Camaro. It's a 1994. Uh, has 153 miles on 153,000 miles on it. Um, whatever. Yeah. Just reply back if you're interested and I'll tell you more about it. Anyway, so I'm like, the car's kind of feeling shaky. I don't know what's wrong with it. And I'm just like, I don't feel comfortable in my car. It's too big for me. I don't put it to use. Like, I want to sell it. So, so that was that. And so, blah, blah, blah. I go to my audition. I'm leaving my audition. And then there's these two guys next to me. And they're kind of like looking at me. And I'm like, oh, God, these, these guys are just like kind of looking at me. And, and then for a second, I was like, oh, but I have my for sale sign up on my car. So maybe they're interested in buying it. And they're like pointing down. They're like, your your tire you have a flat tire and I'm like really so I pull off I'm like oh crap and that makes perfect sense that's why it was like feeling shaky earlier when I was on the freeway going 70 miles an hour so I I pull I'm in the left hand lane and right when they said that I look and there's this auto body shop uh, auto body shop and I was like thank god you know it was perfect and I pull off in there and I go in and I say, I have a flat tire, but it doesn't take just regular air. It takes this other stuff. They're like, come in, you know, we'll fill it. And I was like, how much? And they're like, for free. And then they look and there's a nail in my tire. And I was like, shit, these are, sorry. I'm like, these are expensive tires. And, and I was like, so what, it's ruined now? I have to get another tire? He's like, no, we could, you know, plug it up that's gonna cost and I was like okay what and he's like eight dollars and I was like for sure are you kidding <laughs> so they do that they fill up all my tires and it only costs eight bucks and I was I gave him my card and I, was, I took out like 30 bucks and I was like you know split between all of you guys for helping me and then I left and I don't know I'm pretty beat tired but I feel like eating hot wings so I might go to a place called Big Wangs with my friend um, my guy friend not a boyfriend, not a girlfriend, but just a, a guy friend that I've known for a long time. But he just lost his job because he gave a bum a cup of coffee. <laughs> that is so lame. Who does that? No, I mean, I would definitely give a bum a cup of coffee, but who gets fired for that? At least give him a warning. Don't you agree? I just think that's ridiculous. I don't know. So, that's my story. Sorry. Um, I might redo my roots, because they're getting kind of light. Do you see this? I used to pull my hair out. I used to pull it out. I would get bored, and I'm like ripping it out. But I go like this, and I try to hide it so you can't see. But... There's no way around it. Um, that's about it. So my day was just weird, and yeah, that's it. Okay. Bye.